Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have I have stuff that I got for Christmas. Then my birthday was is two weeks after Christmas. And so I did some shopping last night. Today is the 15th, I believe, that I'm filming this. And my birthday was on the 9th. So I did some late shopping last night. My mom took me out. And then I've been kind of waiting on stuff in the mail. I still have a couple things that I'm waiting on. But I guess shipping is just like taking forever for whatever reason. I don't want this intro to be too long. So let's just get right on into it. I'm going to go ahead and start with what I got for Christmas. And this right here is a, what my mom wrapped my, this was, she had this wrapped, but she got me this box. Works at Home Goods, So she found this box and she knows I love stuff like this. And she said that it's verse Bible verses and it, it's, you know, I'm not going to read all of that because it's a lot. But basically it's talking about love and says, I love you more than the distance between us. I love you more than any obstacle that could try and come between us. I love you the most. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. So anyways, she got me this because she said that she knew I liked this kind of stuff. But also she said it reminded her of me and my husband. And I thought that that was really sweet. So anyways, this is what she wrapped it in. And then stuff is in here. I have stuff from my mom and my grandma in here. And then I got some miscellaneous items that I'm not going to add. Like my brother and sister-in-law got me a t-shirt that said, I want to do hood rat things with my friends. Um, <laughs> and then my mom got me a um, friend's cup that says Central Park because I love the show Friends and I've wanted one of those forever. So like little random things like that. And then like she got me this was like a whole earring set. So little random things like that. But this was, these were the main things. So anyways, I'm rambling. Okay. So the main present that my mom got me was the boyfriend collection. She ordered this off of Nordstrom from Scams. And so here's the little boyfriend boxers in cocoa in a size extra, extra small. And then I have these in three different four different sizes now. And I'm trying to see which size I like the best. So far, I think I'm going to like the extra small the best, but this is the boyfriend tee in the extra, extra small. And it looks like this, it looks, it still looks big, but the size small is, was the black t-shirt I was wearing in a few videos ago. And it like, I like the way that it drapes and how long it comes down. So I'm sure there's not gonna be that much of like a difference, but yeah, this is the size extra, extra small in cocoa. And this is the boyfriend tee. And then my grandma got me the, she got me a Skims outfit for Christmas and my birthday. She kind of bought it all together and gave it to me at once since my birthday was so close to Christmas. But she got me the waffle collection in the cream color. And so I'm really excited about this. And I think it's going to look so cute with my skims slides in the color bone so here's the jacket and she got me a size extra small so here's the jacket in cream and i love this collection so much and then here's the she got me the pants the these ones not the joggers in a size extra small and i do have a video on this collection if you guys want to see how this fits so yeah so that's what my grandma got me and I had everything kind of just stored in this box. So now I can take it out. <laughs> and I guess you could say that this is kind of a Christmas present from my husband. Since I'm a stay-at-home mom, everything is basically a present from my husband because he buys me everything. So I can't really say this is specifically a Christmas present, but I bought this for Christmas. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm just going to say that it's from him just because. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go back a while. But... When I uploaded my video with my Skims Black Friday haul, I was talking about how I wanted the pants. Well, then I got a comment from someone, I don't remember their name, told me that they were on the website. So I literally got on there and snagged them and, oh, that was a tag. I'm getting ahead of myself. These are the Velour joggers in sienna in a size of extra extra small i said i was looking for an extra small or an extra extra small and all that was left on there was like it said low stock so i literally added it to cart 
and I bought them. So I was able to get the pants. Shout out to you that left me that comment and was like looking out because I had been stalking the website. And then when you commented and you were like, they're on the site, I was thinking I literally just checked a few hours ago and then sure enough, there they were and I got them and then the next day they were gone again. So I was able to get them to go with my jacket and I am really excited. <laughs> Okay, and then this, I bought the one set that had the thongs in it, but this is the boy short underwear set. It comes in the same packaging, and then it looks like this. I bought it in the same colors because I like these colors better. And so, let me just show you. It's in the fits everybody line, but here's the little boy shorts. They're so cute. And they're going to be so comfy to sleep in. I love the cotton jersey boy shirt shorts. So, and I love this material more. It's my favorite. So, I cannot wait to wear these. So, I got that little set. I loved the Glistenette collection so much that I had to go back and order more colors. Like I said, I was going to. So, with that being said, I ordered the, the string thong in the color Sienna. Just like, I got the bodysuit in the color Sienna. But... I got the little thong and this is what it looks like, the material. And then I got the bra. So now I have three of these bras. The only color I opted out for was the cocoa color, which is strange because I love the cocoa color in every other style. I just something about it in this glistenette. It wasn't jumping out at me, so I skipped on it. But I loved this sienna color. So that's what that looks like. And I absolutely love it. Oh, and I got these both in a size extra small. Yeah. I'll have everything listed down below like I normally do, but they're both in an extra small. And I picked it up in the color Jasper. And I felt like because I like Jasper better, I didn't really need uh, cocoa. So, same thing, string thong. I've kind of got a lot to get through, so I'm not trying to like go fast, but I'm also trying to go fast. <laughs> So this is the color Jasper, and I think that this color is absolutely beautiful. Like, hello. Do you see this? And I love like the gold. Just has like a like a like a gold sheen, and it's just so pretty. I love it so much. So I recommend these sets if you are in the market because they literally feel like you're not wearing anything. So there's that. Okay, and then this I grabbed because I've been wanting this and I'm gonna try and order the boxers on Nordstrom if they're still on there my size. But this is the boyfriend t-shirt in the color clay size extra small. And I just love these t-shirts so you can't really have too many of them if you're, you know, living t-shirts. Like this is the 30 years box tee and I just, I love t-shirts like this. So, and I, but I gotta get the matching boxers because I love the sets. But this is the color clay and it's in a size extra small. So I'm glad that I was able to grab this. I think this is still on the Skims website in an extra extra small. There's still quite a few sizes left, I believe, in this color. But I think it's this color only. So if you want it, then I'd go try. But then also you can also try and always look on Nordstrom too because they always have quite a bit of stuff that's that kind of surprises me. Okay, and then I told y'all in my video, if y'all remember, that I really wanted to get a cozy set in the garnet color. Well, right around Christmas time, I think it was the day after Christmas, actually, she did a sale. It was like a bundle deal on the cozy sets. She had like pre-bundles that were discounted like heavily. And the exact two pieces that I wanted just so happened to be in the bundle, one of the bundles that she created. So I was able to get this on a heavy discount and I'm so excited. So this, this is the Garnet, the Cozy Cropped Pullover in a size extra, extra small, slash extra small. And this is what this looks like. I kind of want to see, I was nervous about this because, because I have like, I'm, I'm like, smaller sometimes these can look really dumb on me that's why I'm glad I was able to get it on so this is not gonna look good over this shirt at all but it's like 30 degrees in Texas and my house is like not getting warm and I'm really cold so 
I don't feel like getting undressed. <laughs> okay, so it has these things right here on the side where you can cinch. So I feel like, picture this without the t-shirt under it. I like how the sleeves are, always the long sleeves, love. So if I, oh my God, I'm not mentally, am I, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I gotta, I've never done one of these before. <laughs> there. I don't know how. Okay, so if I can get this to go like that, picture this without the t-shirt, and then of course you can zip it up like this, which is cute, or if you want to be a little bit more revealing, or, and so if I can get this to cinch tighter where it's more, I'm, I'm going way too long on this. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's going to be cute and I'm very happy that I was able to get it. It came with the, these are the cozy drawstring leggings in a size extra, extra small, extra small. And these, I think, I think she's, she might be revamping her joggers because I know that the joggers went on sale for Black Friday and then she came out with these and they're too similar for, I feel like her to keep them both restocked. And I've noticed that when she like revamps her collection she gets rid of the old ones so this is the new jogger and then it's got the the zippers which I think is great I'll have to see if that sometimes this can irritate me like it feels like an, a nuisance like just kind of hanging there but then sometimes you know if it's made right which skims typically is then it shouldn't be a problem but it's got the same the drawstring and so these look exactly like my other ones, which I do have a video dedicated to my cozy collections. This is literally like the same thing. I just feel like it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have pockets. So that's gonna be great, but I, I love this color and I'm super excited I was able to get it as a set and on sale. So that's the first Skims box. Okay, so I did this intentionally because if you buy three pairs of panties, you get, a discount so I plan on buying the matching bra to this I just haven't done it and then skim sent me two emails today with money off so I'm probably gonna get on there and buy the bra that matches this now but this is the t street thong t string thong in camel in a size extra extra small I haven't tried these before and online they look like they would run like really big so I wasn't I sized way down because I was like there's nothing worse than like I'm sorry, TMI here, but like when the front of your thong is like really baggy, that's like the nastiest feeling ever. So this is what this looks like. It's a little bit more coverage, but like I said, I got this in an extra, extra small because online this part looked really massive on the models. I don't know if that was just me, but I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be uncomfortably big, but I think that this is going to work out perfectly fine. So I'm excited about this, but this is the camel color she recently dropped in this in the like the cotton material so i'm excited to get the matching bra to this i always feel cute whenever i've got my little sets on and i know that they match <laughs> and then i bit the bullet and i wanted the waffle collection in the cream color which my grandma got me for christmas and my birthday i had already had the camel color and i've been wanting the garnet color since i did my waffle collection video so finally with these couple things i was ordering i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and get the garnet color so that i can knock it off my list because I've been wanting it and wanting it. So here we are. So this is the garnet hoodie and I got this in an extra small. I got all of it, my waffle, all the stuff in an extra small. So y'all probably seen it a thousand times and you just saw it in the cream color, but this is the garnet color. I love this color. So, and then same thing. I got the same pants. I almost opted for the joggers that have, you know, the cuff at the bottom, but I just knew that I loved these and I was like, you know what, I don't want to spend the money and then have to return them when I know for a fact that I do love like the tracker pants. So I just went ahead and got the same style pants, but here they are and they've got the cute little Skims logo on the back. I think it's so cute. So, and I got these at an extra small. Okay. And then she dropped new fits, everybody thongs and bralettes. In new and a couple new colors so obviously I had to get them I kind of collect this stuff at this point but this is the fits everybody thong so I got the thong in an extra small as always and then the scoop neck bralette in a size small I could probably get away with an extra small but I just I like the way that the small fits around here it's not too tight 
So, but this is, she released this teal color and I'm not sure this, I feel like this is not translating on camera. I feel like that might be a better representation, but it's still, it's kind of more of like a, it is, it's like the, if you have the cotton, the soft lounge and the teal, this is literally the same, like the same color, just in the Fits Everybody material. So I had to get this because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then I thought that this was going to be so pretty for summer. She released this color called Fire. And I, of course, picked up the thong in a size extra small and the scoop neck bra in a size small. And let me compare this. Uh, I feel like some of you may want comparisons to what this looks like with some of the other colors because I was a little bit nervous online. I was like, this looks so similar to the color Poppy. So let me just show you guys real fast. Okay, so I turned my lighting down so that you can see. So these are all the colors in this kind of line. This right here is the neon coral. This right here is the neon orange. This is poppy and this is fire. So this is like a true orange orange. This is red. This is neon orange like its name and then neon coral. So this is kind of, they're all, they're really, I, I'm glad that I have all of them, but you know, it, it's just up to you whether or not you want to have this many colors that are similar. But I think of anything kind of like how pink, neon coral and neon orange, I don't know why I can't ever get that out, are very similar in, in color. Poppy and fire are very similar. So anyways, I just thought I would show you guys. Okay, so that was all of my skim stuff. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have recently picked up from Lulu. Online, I saw this color and I had to have it. This is the Align Pant, the High Rise Align Pant in the 28 inch size two. I get all my lines in a size two um, in the Everglade green color. And oh my gosh. I'm absolutely obsessed. I really wish that I could have had these for Christmas and then wore them on Christmas, but it was also like 90 degrees in Texas on Christmas. So I literally wore a Skims cotton lounge set and yeah, but this is this color and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. And I don't know what the heck, I think I'm gonna wear this with like black crew socks and a black t-shirt because I feel like this or with white, like my Nike high tops, like solid white. I think this is going to go really good with like basic solid colors. The last thing I ordered online, I want to start getting some more like actual short shorts for summer because I have a lot of like the skims, cotton lawn shorts, and then like some align shorts and then some buff bunny shorts. But like I want like actual like comfy throw on shorts. So I bought my first pair of hottie hots. This is the low rise four inch in a size four. I went back and forth on sizing. I Compare a lot of my sizing to Hannah Victoria here on YouTube. She does a crap ton of Lululemon videos. She's actually kind of who got me into Lulu. But she, her waist and hips are like one inch off from mine. And I'm only like three inches taller than her. So I, a lot of times when I see how things fit her, then I'm kind of like, okay, I can, I can get away with that. Or I want to size down because I want it to look smaller or, you know, anyways, vice versa. So this is the Hottie Hots in a size four because she always bought a size four. I could wear a size two, but the ultimate comfort of feeling like this is not on me is a size four. So I, I tried on though, last night I went in store and I tried on the Hottie Hots 2.5 and I do not like the way those sit on me. They like, I want to try the speed ups, but the way that this flares down here, which I love in the shorter version, it like flared out around my butt cheeks and like looked really weird whereas because this is longer it being flowy it kind of more sits down on my like drapes down on my thigh I don't know if I'm making any sense or if you guys even care but if you have a similar body figure to mine I don't like the 2.5 because the way they like they like buckle out like this it looked really weird I don't know so I'm glad that I ordered online the four inch because I don't have to return these because I love them but this is the logo. It's got like these little symbols 
all over them. I just thought it was a cute little touch. So yeah, anyways, that was way too long of a story to go on about these shorts. But also if you didn't know, their shorts are all lined, which I absolutely love. I appreciate that. So there's that. Okay, and then my mom took me shopping last night. We went to Sephora first, but half the stuff that I wanted was out of stock. So that was kind of irritating. But then there was a Lulu like right down from where the Sephora is. So I said, I just asked her if we could walk over there because I wanted to go look for these. And then when they had them in store and I tried them on, I was like, okay, they're really expensive, you know? So I kind of just told my mom like I'd get them later. You know, it wasn't a big deal. So when we left, she was like, so what do you want to do? And I said, well, I don't know. I feel kind of pressured. So then I asked her if she would help me buy these. And then she was like, no, it's your birthday. She was like, if that's what you want, then I'll get that for you. She was like, I just didn't know if you actually wanted it or, you know, and I was like, yeah, I know this is what I really, really want. So anyways, this is my first little bag from there. I think it's really cool the bags they give you. But with that being said, this is the scuba high rise jogger in a size four. And this is the heathered gray. It's like heathered core light gray or core. I forget the name. Anyways, they're the scuba high rise joggers. They look like this. They've got this little detailing on the back and I like how long they are. They're not super long to where I feel like they're like scrunched up like in this area, but they're long enough to where I don't feel like when I walk, they're like riding up my ankles because I'm short. So if a pant is riding up my ankle, then I feel like it's a problem. So anyways, now I'm on the hunt for either the scuba half zip in a size extra small small that matches these, which I can only find them on Poshmark for like $250. So that's kind of frustrating, but in I want either the half zip or I want the oversized scuba hoodie full zip, which those are going for like $300 on eBay. So that's also irritating, but maybe one day they'll come back with it and I can get it, but I really want one of those. They have the scuba full zip hoodie on Lulu right now, but it's not the, it's the one that goes down to like your hips. And I just don't, I don't like that. I want it to be like an oversized crop where it sits it like around the top of the jogger. So if any of y'all know where I can find one, then let a girl know. But until then, I'm just going to be patient in hopes that Lulu brings it back. So anyways, these are the pants that my mom got me for my birthday. And I'm super excited to wear them. Speaking of gray, I love a good heathered gray. Like Skims heathered gray collection is one of my favorite colors ever. Like the light heathered gray, which they made a part of their core line, which I'm so happy they did. I love good American sweat, like their boyfriend essential sweats. I love them. I have the olive green pair. I have the dark chocolate pair. And then I just got, they sent me a coupon and I got the heathered gray pair and my son bit the tag off and so I haven't cut this off yet, but I love these so much. I normally buy a size one, but they didn't have a size one. So I opted for the zero and they fit perfectly because they're, I pull them up. You can wear them low rise, but I pull them up high and with it being more in my waist, the smaller size actually does fit better. So you can roll them down. I love the contrast in the string color. You can roll them down or not. So anyways, I love these pants so much. I want them in like every color, but I did get those. And those are from Good American. They're size zero. Also not to mention, but Talentless is like getting rid of their entire premium collection, which makes me so sad because I love the sweatpants in the premium collection. I have the joggers in gray in a size extra small and I wore them on Thanksgiving. I love those pants. And so they sent me a 40% off coupon because they're literally getting rid of the whole collection and it's never coming back or they say it's never coming back. So I ordered a pair of the sweatpants that are the straight leg. They're not the jogger. I forget what they're called. Um, but I ordered those in black and I got 40% off, which was great. So I ordered those yesterday. And so if you're interested in the premium collection from Talentless, I would go over there now and get stuff while it's still in stock or before it's gone. So there's a heads up. Okay, so my dad gave me money for my birthday and this is one of the things that I bought. Uh, this is the new Hourglass Vanish Primer 
and I actually, I used it today along with the new NARS foundation. I forget what it's called, but it's the one that just released like today or I don't know. What's the new one in the, the like glowy one. They gave me this, this guy gave me a sample, a couple samples of it at Sephora last night. So I tried out this and the new foundation and I feel like it's actually sitting. I use my fingers to put on this and the new NARS foundation and I feel like it's actually sitting pretty well. So I can't tell until I can't really tell on my screen until I start editing how it, it actually looks. But from here looking in, it looks like it's okay. But so far, this is good. Uh, it did not peel. And this texture is kind of more, it's like if you've ever tried the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer, not the glow, but the just the original one, this has a texture similar to that. But this one, as you rub it, it feels kind of like it's turning into like a, like a powder type. Like it's, it, I don't want to say mattifying, but that's kind of what it feels like it's doing. It feels like it's mattifying, but it didn't make my skin look matte. I don't know if that makes sense. But if you have felt the texture of the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer, this texture is exactly like that. It just doesn't spread as easy. It's not as emollient. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Anyways, so far I've only used it once, but I liked it and I like the foundation. I don't know if I'll buy it because I don't just buy foundations to buy them. So, but so far I like the combo. <laughs> okay, and then I bought a couple things from Ulta cause I got a $10 off coupon for my birthday and then two times the points all month long for my birthday too. So one of the things I picked up is the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. And I got mine in the shade medium. And I'm so excited to try this out. I mean, hello, the packaging alone. And then, of course, you got the little pump. So because I've been more into, like, this type of stuff, I'm really excited to see. Although I've seen a lot of people talking about this being better as a primer. Either way, I'm excited to have it. I think it'll be a good summer product. And I opted out of the concealer because a lot of people were having issues with it. And I don't really need concealer right now, so... I was like, I'm going to at least get this because this was what I was interested in more. So I'll have to update you guys about this one. And then I haven't been buying eyeshadow palettes just because I don't need them. But this was on sale for $8 and I bought it because it reminds me of me and my husband. But this is the Star Wars Mandalorian palette from ColourPop. And no, I do not have the child palette. But this literally reminded me of my husband and like the way that he like looks down at our kids and then also it says wherever he goes I go and that's literally me and my husband like I just we just go everywhere with each other and I kind of just I do I go where he goes and so I just thought it was really cute and I love the colors this is totally me like that middle shade that green oh, and then that top mustard shade and then that yeah anyways for eight dollars i basically got this for free because i used my ten dollar off birthday coupon but it's eight dollars at ulta i got it and i have no regrets so that's sad this is the i've had this before and i sold it because i feel like i didn't know how to use it and i didn't want it to expire so I sold it over a year ago and I rebought it because now Chanel is sold at Ulta, which is super exciting. But this is the LeBay Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in the shade Sunkiss. And this is just such a beautiful product. I should have never sold it, but here we are. I was able to repurchase it. It looks like this. It's super pretty. And whether I put this on my neck or here or all over my face or just up here, you know, in the summertime, I'm just ready for summer, guys. I'm everything that I'm doing, I'm planning for summer. I'm ready for summer. I'm tired of this cold. I'm tired of stopped up noses. I hate it. I'm ready for shorts and lake days and everything else. So I'm manifesting summertime through all these products. But yeah, I got that. And then a couple things I don't have to mention these on here, but I just figured I would. I got sent a couple things from Influencer. I got sent the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. Okay, first of all, the shade they sent me is spot on. Like, 
I, I it's shocking. It's in the shade 235 light. I don't know if it's pronounced Hiba, Hiba. It's H I B A. So, anyways, the number is 235, but it looks like this. And this is actually, I would have never bought this. Like, I didn't even know this was coming out. I didn't know this was a thing. And then the box showed up at my door and I was like, what the heck? And then I opened it and I was like, oh, cool. So I tried it the next day because I was like, I'm going to have to do a review on it. So, but it is so good. Like, it's not thick. It's not greasy. It's not, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a skin tint. And it's not, I, you know how some skin tints feel like you're wearing like a thick, like sheer paste on your face? Maybe you don't, but I do. I struggle with finding a good skin tint that just feels like a skin tint. This is a lot like the MAC Face and Body, but honestly, probably better. And I will probably mix this with the Face and Body, but this is really good and it really is sheer. So if you just want to like, kind of, I'm so tired. What's the, why can't I think of the word? Even out your complexion, this is going to be a good product for that. Doesn't have a weird smell. It, it blends beautifully. I really like it and I'm very thankful that they sent it to me because now I'm going to have a really good go-to face tint for summer. So that's that. And then this showed up at my door yesterday. I didn't know this was coming either. This is the, it's from the brand Muggler. Is that how you, is that how you pronounce it? I've never heard of this brand. This is a perfume and it's the Angel Nova. And this bottle is actually really cool. Like. It's a big ass star. So anyways, this is really sweet. It's very sweet and very, very citrusy, like lime, like very, very lime. I think it has, when I was reading online, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. This is not my type of scent. So I don't know if I'll just keep this and like spray it, just spray it or, you know, this smells like something like my mom would wear. And so I may just give it to her, but it has bergamot in it and it's very, very strong. The bergamot is extremely, extremely strong. And I think that's what I don't like. Uh, it just irritates me. But when you first spray it, it smells like a good candy and then it lingers into that bergamot and then I'm just like, okay, I'm lost. So this one wasn't the greatest for me, but you may love it. It's just the bergamot. That's, that's just what I can't stand. <laughs> okay. And then this is, I think this is the last thing. And I saved the, you know, the biggest for the last. This is something that I have wanted for literal years, like literal years. I can't even tell you. I have known about designer bags since I was like nine years old. And one of my dream purses is a Louis Vuitton monogram speedy 30 the original brown monogram and I will have one. I'm manifesting it, but this is something that I have wanted for so long. And a friend of mine so kindly sent it to me. And when it arrived at my door, I thought that it was just like a box from like influencer or something. No, I opened the box and I see, I don't know, like that. And I was literally like shaking because I had no idea. I was like, what in the world? So anyways, of course I had to unwrap it to see what it was. I saw the person who was from whatever in here. And so this is all the, the paperwork and stuff. And then I, I put pictures on my Instagram, but it was wrapped with this little card. And then this ribbon, which was super pretty. It was so nicely wrapped. And then this little box right here. And I was so excited. So anyways, I wasn't going to do some big introduction for this. But you open the box and it looks like this. I've never had anything like designer like this before. So it was kind of like new for me. But anyways, this is the little key card holder and I had initially wanted if you know you know the original ones are literally sold out all the time I don't know if they ever restock the site 
I don't have a store that's near me. So I can't just like hop, skip and jump over to Louis Vuitton to see if they have them. But they came out with this one and I posted about it on my Instagram and I was, I had this saved. I had it bookmarked because I was like, one day I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that. And I had it saved. And then my friend sent it to me and I just felt extremely blessed. So anyways, this is this, my first little designer item. I posted about it on Instagram and I'm actually scared to use it because I don't want something to happen to it, but I gotta get over that because obviously I'm gonna use it. So next is also getting a purse that matches that as well. So anyways, this video was going on a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have to try and like edit it down. That is the end of my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't enjoy it, then I'm so sorry that I wasted you time. But if you did enjoy it, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload. I will have all my measurements and everything down below as per usual. And um, yeah, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I'll have my Poshmark down below too. I always will, but I haven't listed anything on there in a while. So, but it'll be there if you want to go follow me just in case. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>